full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, since you guys requested a faith video of faith content, then here it goes. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that my husband and I do um, for our children to teach them about Jesus. And like it says in the Bible, we have to teach the children, our children, about God and how we should live according to his will and we should teach that to our children. Children. so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today and yeah if you guys don't see that then just keep on watching and guys I also just want to say that it is important to teach our children while they're young the right way on how to live according to the Bible so that they can have guidance while growing up it is important and it starts at home how they will be outside the world or outside your home how they will act and stuff like that like for me I didn't have any guidance growing up I don't know if you guys seen my testimonies but it's in this channel too I posted testimonies of um, what I've been through and I just want to say how important it is to have children to for them to grow up with guidance so like for me I didn't have guidance growing up and it hurt me a lot um, I had to learn everything and parent myself pretty much again and I am just blessed that God was with me throughout my whole life so he pulled me out of all the things that I've been through and brought me to where I am now so that's why I want to change my generation our generation to um, I want our children to, to grow up uh, different from how we grew up which is with guidance according to the Bible according to God with the foundation of God and Jesus in this house so I just want to say how important it is to raise our children and teach them the Word of God and just to you know show them how we should act with each other and stuff like that so they know how to act outside of your house outside of your house outside of your home um, yeah and also doing these type of videos it also teaches me because sometimes I forget to do these things that I'm gonna share with you guys and it's hard to um, be consistent because I am learning to uh, to live more according to the Bible so sometimes I forget to even pray for their food and stuff like that so making this video and making a list of the things that we should be doing reminds me also and it teaches me also how I should and my husband should um, act and do more things for our children according to God so yeah that's a little spill for you guys and also I just want to share something um, that's I'm very very happy and proud about my son um, one time they were he was playing with his friends and the friends were cussing or like cursing at each other mad yelling at each other right and my son Zane he was like hey don't say that that's bad that's a bad thing to say and I heard him that I was like next to him and I was like wow okay like these kids they're like a sponge like they will absorb everything from home and I'm just so it's just good to see the fruit I guess that comes out of our parenting because my husband doesn't we don't like um, our friends or anyone cursing in front of our kids and stuff like that just because biblically and so when my husband hears someone curse or even for me and my husband when we have disagreement or argument um, we always tell each other you can't say that stuff like that you know um, like we correct each other and so our children hears that and they apply it outside of our house and that's just amazing you guys so that's why I said from the beginning it is important um, to teach them the right way because it starts from home so yeah so let's just go jump right into this because I've been blabbering and just keep talking to you guys but I just want to say those things first before we jump into this so let's just go jump right into this video again okay guys so number one the 
first thing, the most important thing that we do and apply in this house so that they can learn about Jesus is prayer. So praying every day, like on a daily basis, like when they go out to school, when I drive him to school, I pray for him first um, before I drop him off. And also like when they have their breakfast, lunch or dinner, and also at nighttime before they go to bed or whatever he's going through in school or whatever his feelings, um, like for example, if he's feeling sad or feeling ashamed in school or whatever he is, he's going through, whatever emotion that he doesn't like, I teach him how to pray and ask God to give him the guidance and the strength that he needs to go through his day. So those are the things, the number one thing that we do, which is prayer that's the most important thing and if I'm looking down here because I made a list like I said and the second thing that I want to share with you guys is my husband and I at night we do worship and read the Bible um, before we wait for our kids to sleep first and then we go back downstairs and do worshiping and reading the Bible and praying but we change that up we do that in front of them instead so that they know that God Jesus having time with him is very important so we want them to see that um, what we're doing so that they can apply it when they grow up so um, but sometimes though like it's it can be difficult when you have little ones because they can be loud or distracting like um, it's just sometimes not good so sometimes we still just let them go to sleep and then but most of the time we let them stay downstairs while they play and while we worship so that it's still they can still hear what we're doing and the actions that we do for God so that's another um, influence for them that we do and the third thing that I do that I just started implementing um, in this house is reading my son a Bible verse at night before he goes to bed so I printed out the Bible verses and I tape it on my index card and also I will share that with you guys later on but it's all about their feelings or their emotions and stuff like that and I got this daily truth from Daily Grace Go so that's what I'm reading to him at this time I read them about the anger sharing and stuff like that so that's what I do now at nighttime for him or my husband does it too and we give him examples about life that's what I started doing for him and it's just good to like teach him how to share um, how to handle his anger um, and stuff like that so that's the other thing that you can do for your children number four since my daughter is still young to understood um, any Bible verses I read her a prayer book or a Bible for kids so that's what I do for both actually um, at nighttime like like I was telling you guys earlier it's like I'm learning to and I'm practicing to do it consistently so these are the things that I'm teaching myself to so I like to read them the Bible for kids and also just reading the prayers for them um, that's the other thing that you guys can implement okay so the fifth thing that I want to share with you guys this one I haven't done yet and like I said earlier I'm teaching myself to um, this one i want to teach i want to do it on the weekends um this is watching stories about the bible like for example noah's ark and stuff like that i want to start implementing this on the weekend where they can just sit down and watch on youtube because i know youtube has a lot of like little stories like short films about the bible so i want to implement that so they can learn the stories in the bible so that's the one thing that i want to implement for them and number six this is important as well because you cannot teach someone when you don't even implement it yourself so what what that meant is have godly actions or like the way we, my husband and I act towards each other or to our friends like for example um, on the Bible how we should love how we should 
all do all these things like the fruit of the Holy Spirit if we don't have that and we don't show the fruit of the Holy Spirit to our children then they will not learn from us so we have to implement it as a parent we have to do it ourselves too we have to act according to the Bible first so that we can teach it second to our kids so that's the number one thing also um, besides the prayer because prayer is number one but um, having to do what God tells us to do um, like godly stuff godly actions biblical actions then um, we should also do that as a parent so that our kids can absorb that like I said earlier they're a sponge and they'll absorb everything so for example like loving each other not cursing or just sharing like being generous and stuff like that those are one thing that you can um, do to each other or to your friends and your family so that they can copy you and that they can act the same way as you do and the last but not the least is going to church church is important fellowshipping is important and bringing them to church and being around the people who loves and believes in God and Jesus is amazing for your children they will grow up to follow Christ um, even though if they grow up and they go to the wrong path they will always come back to God they will always come back to Jesus because of um, the childhood that they grew up in like they're surrounded with um, godly people or people who also believe in God and love God so um, that's the other thing that we do we bring them to church and they go to their class and they learn about Jesus and our teacher their teacher Ashley and all the people from the kids springs I just want to say thank you they're amazing and they teach our children they take care of the children and bless them with the Word of God and that's amazing for a child um, to grow up in and they can learn about Jesus more so yeah bringing them to church is also the thing that we do and apply in this house so there you have it guys those are my seven things that we do um, to our children so that they can learn about Jesus and so that they can be influenced um, by the Bible and by Jesus and I know I know there could be a lot more things that we can do for our children but I am also learning and I'm also just trying to implement these things consistently so we're gonna go little by little and then we'll go on from there from there and we'll see where God takes us um, I always pray to God to make me and Kevin a great parents to our children where we can teach them how God wants us to teach them according to his will and his purpose so that they can grow up knowing loving God and accepting Jesus Christ as their one and only Savior so that's one of my prayers all the time and not just for our children but all the children in this world um, I just have the heart for them I pray that they will find their way to God um, yeah it's just I, I grew up not having the guidance that I needed so now it's my husband and I's turn to teach our children the right way according to God and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you guys won't miss a video from me and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye bye